going to try some of that chicken. Mmm. Oh, that's good because cooking it in there it just like cooks it in the sauce and it's like, oh, it's nice. Mmm. That's a choice. But far, but garlic and onion. <laughs> Takes the cake. Mixing with the sweet, and it's like, oh. Mmm. That's so good. Alright, let's get started on that naan bread. You're going to need flour, yogurt, salt, pepper and garlic. In a bowl, put one cup of flour. Like so. Next, we're going to put some salt, pepper and like a teaspoon of garlic into that and we're going to mix it up. So when it's mixed up, we make a little hole and then we're going to fill that hole up with half a cup of yogurt. So we just pop that in there. Then we're going to make, well, we're just going to mix it together. It was supposed to be a transition, but um, this is what it actually ends up looking like. Like really doughy and a bit sticky, but you can add flour to it to make it less sticky and you just work it until you end up with something looking like this. But then you just flour the bench and then make it into a dough. So once it starts looking like a dough, I usually break mine into three parts. So I make three naans out of this. Okay, that's two. I was gonna go with four, and then I thought, nah, I'm just gonna make one big one. So I've made two small naans and one big ass naan. So you just roll them into balls. We're gonna roll them out with a rolling pin shortly. So um, yeah, just make sure you've got plenty of flour on the bench and don't worry about your hands. You can always wash them after. Uh, make sure you wash them before you start it as well. So here, what we do is we just flatten that out. Uh, pat it out first, it's easier to work with. Add a little bit of flour to the bench and um, onto the top of a naan as needed. That way your rolling pin's not going to get stuck to it. So just roll it out like that. Should be pretty easy to work with. And, um, yeah, just shape the naan however you want. Next we heat up a pan. We're going to put some butter and uh, garlic in it. Well, I put margarine because I don't have butter, so yeah. You can put butter if you've got it. So we just fry that for a while and then we put drop a naan into it and yeah, just fry it up and it'll end up looking like this. Garlic naan. Oosh. Oosh, so let's get started on that mango chicken. First thing we're going to do is cook a cup of rice in the rice cooker. So let's chuck that on. We're going to cooking spray a pot. And we're just going to cook the garlic and ginger. To start with, it's one teaspoon of each. We chuck that in there. Randomly look at the floor for a while. I have no idea why. So then we're going to add the onion and two teaspoons of curry powder. And we just like cook that in there. Saute it. I think that's the word. When it looks like that, we're going to add coconut cream. Don't worry, that, um, yeah, that burnt will just cook off the bottom and become part of a sauce. So yeah, add your coconut cream. Then we add the tin of mangoes. You don't have to worry about cutting them up. Just add them to the sauce. Put it back on the heat. And just stir it together. Turn it down to low. Because you don't want this boiling away crazy like. So we just want to simmer this sauce. Just bring those flavours in. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. When the sauce has been cooking, oh, I don't know, about 20, 30 minutes, we're going to use a stick blender to blend all the onion, the spices, and the mango together. It'll release the sweetness of the mango as well. So that's our sauce sussed. Let's put it back on the pot, uh, back on the stove, down to low, and we're going to add our chicken. It, there it is. Chuck the chicken in. Oh, now I've got to clean that up. It's a bit tricky when you're using one hand. So stir the chicken in. And we're just going to let that cook, I don't know, generally it takes about half an hour, sometimes only 20 minutes. But yeah, just check your chicken when it looks like that and it's cooked through. We're going to plate up. So let's get that rice looking all restaurant style. A little bit of garnish. And there we go, mango chicken and naan. So yeah, let's uh, try and get into this feed, eh? So we've got the naan, homemade naan bread. Dunk it in there. Mm. Oh man, that turns out sweet as. I was a little worried that um, 
it might not be sweet enough, but nah, the mangoes came out quite well. I'm just gonna try a bit of that rice. Mm. That's good. So um, that's mango chicken with homemade naan bread. Um, mm. Hit the comments, uh, um, like, subscribe, all that on YouTube, you know. You can do that sort of thing. Tell me what you'd like to see. But um, yeah, that was mango chicken, rice, and um, homemade naan bread. Oosh. Mmm. That's good because you can taste the garlic in there. Mmm. Yum, man. And the butter. Well, margarine, sorry guys. <laughs>